The fourth Afro-Chinese Folklore and Arts Festival kicks off in Aswan, Egypt. Magical Aswan sending messages of love and peace from Egypt to all over the world. More than 30 countries are represented here by their folkloric troops and definitely more than one message and uh, they are enjoying the beauty and the magic of Aswan, Egypt. Forward ever and welcome to exclusive with Tahrid Hussein from Aswan, Egypt. Egypt has been and will always be the cradle of civilizations and the heart of the world, a center of arts, cultures and creativity. Today, as the fourth edition of Afro-Chinese Arts and Folklore Festival is held on one of the most enchanting cities of Egypt, Aswan, at the historic Philae Temple, history stands again to witness the unbreakable bond between Egypt and the world. Such event comes to emphasize on how art brings nations together and also upholds the time-old ties between Egypt, China and the whole of Africa. No place would be better to embrace this event like the banks of the Nile River, just as it has always embraced our history and future, today it comes carrying exquisite arts from Africa all the way to Asia. Egypt, with its soft power, is working hard to open cultural and artistic venues on various continents. The Afro-Chinese Arts and Folklore Festival this year celebrates Aswan, the capital of African youth, with Africa, China, and also with the participation of 30 countries from around the world. This year's festival provides a wonderful and timely platform to highlight the arts, the cultural heritage and strong ties of the participating countries from Africa and China. Art and culture create seamless bridges between nations and enhances communication between countries, no matter the language spoken locally. The festival is further a proof of the growth and development of Sino-African relations as it emphasizes Egypt's relations with its neighbors and the importance of relations between Egypt and China. In her speech, the festival founder and president, Suhir Abdel Eder, had expressed thanks and appreciation to all the partners in success. She added that in the name of art, we gather to say Egypt, home of love, peace and unity to all the world. الأستاذة سهير عبد القادر رئيس المهرجان الأفروسيني الرابع أستاذة سهير الحقيقة مصر عبرت عن نفسها في شكل حضاري ومتألق أبهر العالم في سيمفونية عزفت يعني شفنا فيها كده مزيج من الحضارات ورسالة سلام ومحبة من مصر للعالم بهنيكي على نجاح هذا المهرجان الذي نظم بشكل يليق بمصر الحبيبة وبقول لك النهارده شعورك ايه ورسالتك ايه النهارده تقولي من خلال قناه النيل الدوليه رساله الى العالم على هامش المهرجان. اولا انا طبعا مش عارفه ارد على الكلام الجميل ده. طاقه ايجابيه كل الناس قاعده تديها للمهرجان ده. وعايزه بس اقول للعالم شفتوا مصر؟ شفتوا مصر الجميله؟ شفتوا مصر الحضاره؟ شفتوا اسوان الجميله؟ مش ده سياحه ولا ايه؟ في ارهاب دي مصر بتوزع الحب والسلام 
مش عارفه اقول حاجه غير ان مصر جميله قوي تحيا مصر تحيا مصر ف ومصر حاضنه لكل الثقافات ولكل الناس انت شفتي حضرتك كم الناس اللي جم من افريقيا كم الناس اللي جم من الصين شفتي الثقافات دخلت في بعضها ازاي ازاي الناس انصهرت في بعضها مش ده حب مصر مش ده الحضن بتاع المصريين <تصفيق> مشاركة أولادنا كان طاقة إيجابية جدا مش بس بيدي لسهير عبد القادر طاقة حلوة في حياتها إنما بيدينا كلنا الحقيقة طاقة جميلة وكانوا الحقيقة في تفيرة جميلة كده بيدفروا إبداع وليلي بقى أحكي لي على مشاركتهم وحرصك الدائم إن أولادنا دايما يكونوا جنبنا خاصة في المهرجانات الدولية زي اللي احنا شاهدناه ده اللي هي بتعبر عن مصر ودي رسالة طبعا ورسالة اهتمام سيادة الرئيس بذوي الاحتياجات والقدرات الخاصة رسالة مهمة جدا بصي انا هقولك الحكاية دي جات لي ازاي انا الحكاية دي من 22 سنة مهرجان القاهرة السينمائي لسينما الاطفال مش قادرة اقولك انا خرجت من, من المهرجان ده كم من البشر رائع وكنت بقى دخل مجموعه صغيره قوي من ذوي القدرات فلما مهرجان الطفل وقف ها حسيت ان لازم ادي علاقاتي دي كلها اللي مع 50 و60 دوله لمين مين اللي يستاهل ده هم ذوي القدرات وبعدين هم بيعملوا لي حاله وبعدين ايوه اتعملت لهم اتعمل لهم مؤسسه وبنعمل لهم ملتقى و و و بس بعد ما عملت اول ملتقى حلفت ان لو جالي اي حاجه دوليه مش هعمل حاجه غير ببركتهم هم مش بركه يعني يعني بيتسولوا هم بركه بركه في حاجه في حاجه بتجيلي من فوق انا بحس انها حاجه بتجيلي من فوق وبعدين شايفه شايفه الفن شايفه الحلاوه شايفه اولا عايز اقول لك يوم الافتتاح طبعا انا كانت حاجه ابهار بالنسبه لي ان كل الفرق اللي جت من افريقيا والصين كانت على مستوى عالي جدا وبعدين هقول لك حاجه جميله جدا يعني فرقه فلسطين فرقه فلسطين دي ما كانتش معانا دي عملت لي مفاجاه وجت وجت على حسابها الست الهنديه الجميله اللي غنت اغنيه لغاندي دخلت مع الكونجو من غير ما تقول لي وجم عملوا لي مفاجاه وجم على حسابهم في ايه ده حبا في مصر بقى مش حبا في حاجه ثانيه اكيد بتقول لي دي يعني يعني اه ميموري غير عاديه بالنسبه لي فده عايزه نقول ان مصر حاضنه لكل الناس لكل الناس فاما اولادنا بقى اللي عم ادوا يوم الافتتاح لا ده كان قصه انا شفت الوزراء وهم بيبكوا مش بيبكوا الحاجه بيبكوا من حنيه الولاد يعني عملوا شو يجنن اولا وبعدين نزلوا قعدوا يبوسوا في الناس و في حالة ده مش مهرجان على فكرة The festival witnessed many activities on the sidelines an exhibition was held featuring the local handmade crafts and productions of Aswan Also wonderful pieces of art and drawing by the youngsters with special needs who were keen to share and integrate, expressing happiness to be part of the festivities.
Egyptian expats represented by Dr. Hussein Zanetti had arrived at the festival he was keen to share in the festivities and celebrations. Zanetti works as a researcher at Shukoyu University. Attending the festival, he talked to Nile TV International about his impressions after his performance. I'm so really so honored to be here and joining with the um, the festival. Um, yeah, as you know that uh, Egypt is really the country of the peace, the country of the f arts. So I can see now, I can see many different countries coming here, joining us, celebrating, and uh, under the name of the uh, Afro China. And this is now in the, in the fourth edition, which means that um, there is a lot of success and the hard work from Egyptian people. Um, I'm so proud of them because I, I came from far away from Japan. You know, Japan is the country of the you know tradition festivals, and then it's a, it's a big matter. Makes a lot of things for Japanese people to use the celebration for collecting tourist uh, tourist uh, activities. So I can see now Egypt has the, you know the base and has a lot of experience that we can you know start being selling this as a marketing for making the the global festival, so many people can come here to our country and in, enjoy the festivals. Uh, definitely, and uh, talking about how this bridge, bridge between and among cultures, is definitely sending messages of peace and love uh, from Egypt to the world. The role of Egyptian expats, and we can see them all around the world uh, raising uh, the Egyptian flag and the bright face of Egypt. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. That this is a very important thing is that in our our roles in in, uh, in staying abroad away from Egypt that we. Do do a lot of um, promotion about our country, including the arts. On the sidelines of the festival, we're honored to have with the superstar Mahmoud Abil uh, attending uh, the, the important celebration and sharing also uh, yesterday in the opening ceremony. Uh, well, I guess we have more than one message that we disseminated through this important festival to the whole world. As you said it yesterday also on podium. It's a message of love, love and unity and, uh, and hope. That's, that's, I mean, uh, I think this is enough to get uh, everybody together. Uh, the idea itself of uh, that festival is to get people from different countries together, this time from Africa and from China. And uh, it was a celebration of love. It was, we saw uh, a dance uh, celebrating Mahatma Gandhi. So it was India and Congo inside. And we saw uh, several... Uh, uh, Arab countries like uh, Palestine and like uh, Algeria and Tunisia. Uh, we saw a lot of African countries. We saw uh, all together, everybody was together. And uh, I thank uh, the Ministry of Culture and Tourism, and really they did a lot. And also the governor of Aswan. I mean, he did his best. He was there and he did his best. Uh, well, soft power of Egypt has a very important role and uh, brings people to people together. So talking about the role of art, uh, hand in hand, uh, not only foreign policy, but also art and art supporting the, the policy of the state to bring this uh, beautiful uh, celebration around. I mean, uh, uh, I think that any... Uh, if this is your question, you're talking about uh, art taking part in these celebrations. Of course, I mean, this is, 
uh, any any artist or any, any artist if it's a painter or an actor or singer or whatever uh, should be involved in anything that would uh, serve the community and serve the country so uh, I think it was great to have Lubna Abdelaziz with us yesterday uh, a lot of uh, fellow actors and actresses were there and uh, this is our duty I mean this is something that we all should do you know and get there and, and encourage that kind of celebration especially uh, we had all these children with the special needs that were there and uh, it is I think the duty of every citizen especially artists <laughs>
و... و... وزودنا على كده كمان النهارده وجود التفاعل الكبير اللي حاصل بين اولادنا من فنون ذوي القدرات الخاصه مع اولاد النوبه واسوان وال... ورش العمل الفنيه اللي, اللي اشتركوا فيها مع بعض بالاضافه للمعارض الفن التشكيلي اللي عاملينها الاطفال والكبار <تصفيق> And we have with us on the sidelines Miss Hita Pan from uh, Congo representing the Congo at uh, our beautiful celebration here. Tell us more about uh, your representation and it was a fabulous performance today. Thank you so much. Uh, how about the preparation for it? How did the contact come? Okay, so we have been invited by other Egypt government to uh, par participate in con uh, participate in the AS at the festival Afro Congo festival since long last two years, but this time I got the opportunity to come as my kids could come along with me. Uh, we uh, we just celebrated 150th uh, birth anniversary of Sri Mahatma Gandhi, and uh, he started his revolution from Africa. So we thought, like, why not uh, we sing something from Mahatma Gandhi in Congoli, in Congo, uh, and we saw, sang it with the Congolese singer. Yeah, it was wonderful. Uh, tell me more about the message you can send to the world uh, today from Aswan, Egypt. What would you say? Uh, basically, the song which I just sang, we just sang together, it means bringing the peace into life. And um, the song, it means that, you know, the person who respects every woman, who respects uh, everyone as, the, as equal person, can go ahead in life and is the favorite person of the God. So I guess it is better that we all as a world, we go to, uh, together towards uh, respecting the woman more and bringing the peace to the world. Wewe kangu muwe twe, 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 wewe kangu muwe twe. And we have more than 30 countries participating in the festival and here is Namibia. Welcome to Aswan and uh, the glamour of Egypt. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you. We are enjoying it. Yes. How yes. did it go, the performances, the preparations? Tell me more about it. No, it went, everything went well. We are enjoying, we danced, we, 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 we gave our best and we are happy. We are, we are learning a lot. Yeah, um, it, it is just like a dream because yeah, you go to school, people talk about the beautiful infrastructure of Egypt, the people, the culture, the exotic and historic places, the Nile River, and then you come and you just see like it's wow, it's, it's a very good opportunity, it is eye-opening, the people are friendly, lovely, they are engaging us and we are feeling like we are one. Is nice. <laughs> uh, that's great. Viva Africa. And, Viva. Uh, uh, and as, yes, yeah. uh, as Egypt chairs the uh, African Union 2019, mm. yes. and the message from Egypt to all uh, your African brothers and friends seeing you in, in Namibia and other parts of Africa, yes. what would you tell them? I would tell them to. It's, it's, it's nice to be in, in Egypt. It's very much nice, and I would like to be invited again to come back again. And next time when we come back, we want some to join us. It's very nice here. It's very far from Namibia, but it's very nice in itself. We are happy to be here. Thank you. Oh, my message to my fellow African country is that Africa should stay united. And in order for it to stay united, we have to love one another and treat each other as one without... Um, having to mistreat each other because of color, race, or where they come from, and to invite more African people, uh, more African countries, to involve other African countries in events like this, because this we are building and we are knowing to know each other and understand each other's cultures. So diversity is the cornerstone for peace.
Yes, uh, as they just mentioned, the diversity yes. is the cornerstone for peace and Viva Egypt, Viva uh, Africa. It's a message of love, a message of peace and culture from Aswan, Egypt to the whole world. Thank you so much. Thank Please you. come back again. We Please will. invite Definitely. us again. <laughs> Art brought together the peoples of Africa and China who share brotherhood and love. The festival is a bridge between Chinese and African cultures and sent messages of love, culture and peace to the whole world. <laughs> That was the fourth Afro-Chinese Folklore and Arts Festival, concluding celebrations here at Magical Aswan, that beautiful site sending peace and love and messages of culture and heritage from Egypt to the whole world. Many thanks for watching.